The Argam ER was a specific upgrade to the Argam weapon to deal with the uh, longer, um, uh, the, the larger weapon engagement zones of our advanced enemy air defense systems. So uh, as our adversaries advanced and became uh, better at uh, defending their areas uh, of which we uh, might need to engage, uh, we needed a weapon that had additional standoff capability, higher speeds, and greater survivability. We're in the middle of a uh, developmental test, have uh, two more developmental test uh, events that we should be wrapping up in the next couple months, and then transitioning to a short uh, integrated test effort, and then following that up with uh, just a couple operational test events. Uh, concurrent with that activity, we'll be uh, performing the required shipboard certification testing, and uh, immediately after that, we should be able to declare initial operational capability. So developmental tests should be wrapping up in about three months, and then uh, inter integrated tests should take us a, a couple of more months after that. And then at the end of this calendar year, uh, or early part of fiscal, 20, uh, fiscal 24, we should be looking to uh, complete our, our developmental test, operational test, and transition to initial operational capability. We have uh, two uh, initial production lots already on contract with uh, Northrop Grumman. Uh, in negotiations for our third one, uh, we'll be looking to award uh, our fourth uh, low rate initial production lot uh, following year and then uh, transition to full rate production in FY25 and uh, looking to extend our partnerships both with our um, uh, Italian co uh, partners uh, in development as well as uh, the Royal Australian Air Force and uh, get these weapons in the hands of our uh, coalition warfighters as soon as we can. So we, what we're doing is we're taking the uh, advanced capabilities uh, that are coming along with the uh, Argam baseline program, they've dovetailed those into the Argam ER program, and now we're just working on enhancements with the rocket motor design, and then tying those two together, we've gone through, again, uh, the four of six developmental test fl uh, flights, and really the next phase is more interoperability between the aircraft, and then overall functionality of the weapon performing uh, in a robust IADS environment.